Can you see my <clears throat> can you see my screen now? Yeah. Good. Okay. So I'm going to talk about uh, this recent recently reported uh, mammoth bug log 4J uh, in the uh, Apache logging environment. Um, <clears throat> so this involves um, a bug in, in a, a Java-based logging utility. And logging is pretty much universal among uh, programmers, or at least programmers in programs that are serious and attempt to do things. Uh, so the, a, a monitoring utility keeps track of variables and uh, error conditions as they develop and uh, provide feedback to developers. And the result of this monitoring activity is, is written usually into, uh, at least into a, a log file. And if it's a serious problem, then it, it may appear as a message on the user screen uh, calling the, the user's attention to some kind of a situation that they may need to deal with. Um, the original <clears throat> Java development kit didn't have any kind of logging utilities, so the Apache, the Apache uh, Foundation has provided or, or provided one quite a long time ago in the form of this uh, 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 log4j. It says lib4j. That's not true. That's log4j. Um, and um, it's been a very popular uh, and the, the key thing involving this bug is that it is the word is ubiquitous. If you don't know what that word means, it means it's everywhere. Um, and this is the person who discovered it. He works for Alibaba in Beijing. And when he found it, he did the responsible thing and reported it to Apache. And then they disclosed it. Uh, later on after a, a, a patch was available. And so there's been a lot of, of concern expressed about what this means in terms of the vulnerability of just about every computer out there. So this is what some people have said, uh, a design failure of catastrophic proportions, the biggest, uh, most critical vulnerability ever. And I like this, the last one, especially Fukushima moment for the cybersecurity industry. Sounds like what it means is that there's a lot of job security that's going to be available as just as a result of this bug alone in the future, just tracking it down, which is a major problem in itself and, uh, and fixing it. Um, I am not a programmer and the, I found this really a, a challenging read because it's an extremely technical issue and so this is a typical sentence that you might run across. Um, you can read it yourself. The, um, the reference in, in the first sentence to something called Jindi appears to be the, the key issue in this. That, that stands, it's an acronym that stands for Java Naming and Directory Interface. Um, the original version of, of Log4j version of one was out for a number of years with no problems at all. But version two included um, calls to Jindi. And that seems to be the, the big, if there is one key no point in this problem. Uh, Jindi is, seems to be the culprit. So the first thing to do in, in these uh, patches is to disable Jindi. Um, so what happens is that, uh, a hacker has now remote code ex execution uh, ability, and they can do anything they want if they can get it to your machine, and, and they can if you have this uh, vulnerable log4j library there. Um, it's also called log4shell, um, and the CVS score for this is 10 out of 10. Uh, I may be exaggerating there when I say board eighth graders can figure it out, but probably some can. And the big fear is ransomware. Um, and this makes it really simple to do, to, to uh, um, install software that will encrypt all the files on your machine. Um, all right, well, we probably better stop it there. That's four minutes. Okay. Thank you.